the babies are transforming. A small infant killed that scientist before we could get into the room. And I mean, yeah, as far as killings can go, that's pretty thorough. This baby may not have been around long, but it's... Lethal nonetheless, I hear little... <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay, we're gonna leave that door closed for a minute. Where'd you go, you little shit? What am I supposed to shoot on you? You're just a ball of... Oh, it has a spine sticking through this guy's hand. <laughs> I wish I could pick him up with the magnet, with the kinesis. Oh, that's what I shoot. Do I need to get close enough? Oh, I hate that. Oh, and they're ranged attackers, aren't they? I bet they shoot spines like one went through that guy's hand. Ah, well, green. Oh, great. Give me your hand. Let's see if we can use it. There's got to be more than one. Now there's babies crying in my hallucination. Oh, hello. A uh, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on a waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One did not guess which one was suddenly bumped up on the vital personnel. Not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Stasis. I need a good look at you. When are you attackable? Oh, right now. They're definitely ranged attackers. Stop the baby! <laughs> You, you know, I, I would expect the children to have less, like, power behind their attacks than these full size, uh, whatever they are. Transfer, the, like, these beasts, space monsters. I hate how many I can hear cry. That doesn't look particularly good. Is that where I'm going? Sure is. Hey, upgrade! Thank you! Is that all these are for? That's the only useful item I've seen in every one of these. I think I see what the problem is, my dude. You, you put the electricity on your chair, you silly! Shock pet. There it is. This is how we get into the morgue. We need to detonate this. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. So it could take me out is what he's afraid of. Okay. I'm sure the babies won't leave this wing of the medical area. We'll never encounter anything like that again. In fact, how many children could be on this plate? Oh, I forgot about this door. We do have a charge. Let it go. Hey, big guy. Stasis behind. Stasis the other one too. Refill, stasis again. Stop it. Stop it, 
get out of here. I hate that. You guys know I hate this. You cut this out. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that'll get the job done. Let's fucking go. I love stasis recharge. I feel immortal whenever we have one of those things. All tension immediately evaporates. I am control. I am in control of space and time. Oh, I guess I see where the shock pad goes. Okay, so we're turning it into a bomb. How far back do you think I should get? Do I have to shoot it? Nope. Nope. Hey, you mean that wasn't cover? I could have moved to the next room. Is that cover? I have to. This is closer to the explosion than I was before. This seems irresponsible, Isaac. See? That glass barely held up. That that piece of paper says we have run out of body bags. To be fair, I mean, I'm also out of body bags in my house. I don't have a single one. <laughs> Oh, I was ready for that, bud. Although I think that explosion should have killed you. Let me, let me throw that guy made out of jelly at you a few times. Teach you a lesson. We do have quite a lot of rifle ammo. I'm going to swap off of the plasma cutter for a little bit. I think this is how they get you. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias' body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Roger that. Understood. What do we have here? Weapon upgrade for the plasma cutter and an upgrade module here is... Clearance required. We got to get that soon. We, we got to be able to get that clearance soon. They wouldn't keep throwing that at me. It's time. Probably when we get the rig. Am I seeing shit? Nicole? Who is this? Loop and transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, he's oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I have some PHP left. Fall into Cole's hologram. I have some questions about the hologram technology, but it looks like we're going to have to figure out a way to power that door first. We can look for one of those... Definitely just heard movement. Uh, remove battery. Ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker. What about the shower? I can't open the door. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Oh, that was the good secret room. What's with all the whispering voices? I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going insane. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. 
genetically it's human tissue with bizarre mutations but it's just a sample it's not enough to figure out a cure i need wait what's the work for from engineering here the engineer has pulled something out of machinery limbs missing torso intact Shit. Okay. baby time for real autopsy that didn't kill it. This gun sucks ass. This gun is fucking. T Where'd the other one go? Oh shit. Uh. Stasis. Is the baby dead? Oh, Stasis, say reload. I don't know what I just hit. I think I shot a bomb. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Throw the baby. Anything. That was kind of close. <laughs> Level one clearance again. I can't even open the fucking boxes here. I hate this gun. I hope we find more ammo soon. I think I'd rather just use body parts than use this gun. Uh, no power. Okay. Doesn't make any sense that this room would have different grid, different grids for its electricity. I'm not an electrician. I have no idea if that's true. That's just my knee-jerk reaction. Uh, Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. <laughs> I can relate. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere, planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Cyarillo's hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't even deny his actions. But he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there is no crime. Specifically that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is classic schizophrenic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evan's murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the ex explan explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again, similar to those experienced by other honest. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits uh, writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dream needs to speak and that he is attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of this case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. Does this guy know what caused all of this to happen? Well, looks like they haven't fared too much better than me. God, that is a loud baby. Baby? <laughs> Oh, Scorpion King! He's dead. Oh, that's so much fucking ammunition. This gun sucks. Okay. God, how are we doing on ammo for the... How many rounds do we have? Did we have like 400? I've gone through them like nothing! 
Bro, one of these things just blasted a hole through this wall, it looks like. It seems like they're stronger than I thought. And I thought they were pretty strong. I didn't know they could just rip holes through metal. Okay, I think we're closing in on the doctor's body. There's some medical supplies strewn about in here with all of the corpses. Although I'm not seeing anything else useful here. Kind of weird that there's an oxygen tank in here though, right? I mean, it is a medical area. One behind me. Run past him. Oh, run past him. We're out of stasis. We're out of stasis. Swapping in the better gun. Come on, come on. Chill, bro. Isaac is a cold-blooded killer, bro. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo, bro. <laughs> Okay, that helped a little. I'm starting to feel the survival elements of this game a lot more, where my resources are dwindling qu quite a lot. And I think the main reason for that is because I'm not using the Kinesis enough. Ooh, that was worth it. It is a third upgrade. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. And Nicole? We need answers by any means possible. Uh. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Did Nicole just cut that guy in half? Hey. No, no, no. I don't think that's Nicole. I don't think I've decided that's not Nicole. I don't think he's in there. There's no buttons on this or anything. <laughs> and it's just sealed. What are you guys doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a baby in there. Looks like some intestines. Oh, stasis recharge on the wall. That's huge. That's huge. Level two security clearance required. I'm over the security clearance shit. That's a box. If I hit it hard enough, it will open. Dr. C. Mercer. Detected. Bro, the one time I try to look out the window. Hey, this ship may be falling apart, but it's anti-vacuum stuff kicked in fast before like most of this stuff could even fly out of the window. They did great. That's a baby. It's a baby on the roof. Probably gonna need this. Let's just bring it with us. Maybe I could throw it at the next baby. <laughs> this game is a fucking gold mine for out of context <laughs> fucking quotes. There's a lot of blood in that elevator. Oh, we've made it to the morgue. Okay. Our, um,. Colleague's theory is that the reason they barricaded the morgue was to keep something really bad in here. We've already seen scary space babies. We've seen further and further.
We've seen further and further mutations of the human anatomy in adults with, you know, them having tails, basically, uh, instead of legs with the Scorpion Kings. What could be worse than that? It is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Mathis dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. The subject was in general good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low, with Asana... F <laughs> this is like a nightmare. Eosinophilus. We're going with that. In particular, almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problem, indicating rapid onset. But it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple uh, contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. So that means before he died, he was fighting something. Light contusions around the rib cage indicate he was restrained likely for a brief period. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body? His eye? I closed it on accident. They tied him down and poked and poked out his eye? This is the autopsy room. They tied him down and poked out his eye. It's like a fucking stingray! It's a bat! Holy shit! All right, I got this. I got this. It's fine. It's level one. Safe. <laughs> Captain's dead. I killed him with his own fucking hand. Something's going on in the next room. And the captain is currently lodged in the door. Oh, shit. I am... It's doing that to more bodies in the next room! Shit. 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 That throw didn't work. Stop it! Shit, 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 shit! Stay away! Where is it? I think I killed it. 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 I hate this gun. It's so bad. Oh my god, this gun is fucking ass. So the bat makes more zombies. That what we just learned? You guys could at least give me some more fucking ammo for the good gun! Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! Ugh. Fuck me! Transmitting codes now. <laughs> I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Yes, to level fucking 40. I don't give a shit what the highest clearance is. Give it to me. It looks like I can go through this door now. But doesn't that mean I'm missing out on so much stuff back here? Am I lost?
This is backtracking, right? Oh! Uh. Hey! Here. What the hell's happening? I think I messed up. The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. So... Clearance confirmed. Yeah! This is an elevator. I ran all the way back here to take an elevator back to the same floor I was just on, didn't I? That's exactly what I did, didn't I? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I did. This was the room I was looking for. In fact, I think there's a level one clearance case right in here. Or oh, right here. Clearance confirmed. I hate that. I hate that I need clearance for a loot chest. I hate that. Well, I mean, no reason we can't turn the lights back on for the next guy. I would appreciate coming to a lit room. So. Yeah, that's much better. It's not a ton less scary, but it definitely helped. Uh, now, where is my actual path I'm trying to take? We're heading into the clinic now. And then to the security station. Wasn't buying it. Didn't think it was dead. That's the guy we threw the body bag at. And then medical tram station that way. I'm going to save here first. Need help? Yes. Simply pick up the closest security phone and the Ishimura security team will be there for you. Have we tried that yet? There's going to be something in here in the fog somewhere. I'm just going to throw things indiscriminately. Throw this body. You're, you're not telling me there's nothing in here. I squished something. Are you dead? Oh, this is the girl that was defending when we first showed up. And that's the tram back. Sorry. I didn't see you there. I just hurt you. I'm glad we unlocked this. So I need to go to the cargo tram, right? Flight deck tram control. Yes. It's a fast tram. Now we're riding at flight deck tram control. I do think it would kind of be cool to live in a in a place that had I think I passed an upgrade table in that last area. It'd be cool to live in a place like this where all of your public transportation was just built into where you live, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to go take the tram down to Pizza Hut. Be back in 20 minutes. I don't live in a place that even has a subway, so I don't know what I don't know what that's like. Hey guys, I think I'm back. Do you have to turn the lights off every time I leave? What's that about? Security recording retrieved. Oh shit. Way number two, flight deck run. We've been through here before. This is where our ship blew up. Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. Thanks. 
How am I breathing right now? You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. Roger that. Thank you, my dude. Whoa. Whoa. Am I really going outside? Entering vacuum. That doesn't that doesn't seem safe. Where am I trying to go? Oh, right over there. Sweet. Get a breath. Vacuum. Entering vacuum. Wow. I'm seeing some explosive containers around, but then they're disappearing. Oxygen container there. I might as Oh, it's a fucking baby. I think that one's dead. They dropped medical supplies? Baby. <gasps> Where did you find those? Uh, that doesn't look too great down there. That that doesn't look that doesn't look too great down there either. I'll get a breath and we'll head down. Wonder if I should detonate some of these barrels. This is starting to feel unsafe. Like I'm afraid of a chain reaction or something. I just want to point out that these brakes are so cool because it changes up the atmospheric noise a lot. I think it's really good to have brakes like this. Okay, made it through. Just had to turn sideways. It's like maybe same thing here. I only have 40 seconds of oxygen left. I need to go. I need to go. 35. This looks good. Oh, lamp. Exiting zero gravity. Where's the air? Exiting vacuum. Woo! Hey, guy, come this way. Entering vacuum. Entering zero gravity. Oh, can he not come with me? Exiting zero gravity. Exiting vacuum. Hey, come here. This way. This way. This, <laughs> this way. Come on. Come on. Yep. 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 Good. Here we go! Exiting vacuum. What the fuck? What is this fucking door steel? Will you open? What? Entering vacuum. Okay. I hate everything. Entering vacuum. Come on! Entering zero gravity. Come on this way! Ah! Come on! Come on, come out of here! Nice. Nice. Good job. <laughs> ah, that was worth it. That was worth it. I had to use a medical crate for that. I would do that again. Exiting zero gravity. <laughs> Exiting vacuum. Oh, yes, I'll just use my security clearance here. Confirmed. Of course, it's confirmed. This is where I belong. What the fuck is that? Adding this to my maintenance priority request, maybe something in writing will make them pay attention. That unidentified growth reported elsewhere on the ship has reached engineering. 
Not even medicals knows what the hell this stuff is. It looks like something threw their guts all over the walls and smells about the same. It's spreading faster than we can cut it, <laughs> which is simply disgusting. It's already busted the cargo lift and it's getting into the engine spoke. If we can't find a good stop, a way to stop it soon, it'll be all over the main engine chamber by the day after tomorrow. Hey guys, I think I may have found what broke the ship. Meanwhile, I'm heading to the mining deck. They got PFM 100s in storage for ice mining and they can spare the fuel. Maybe cauterizing this stuff will do the trick. Just hope it doesn't smell worse when it's on fire. You know, I was thinking you got to burn this thing too, 100%. 100%. Unfortunately, I don't have a flamethrower, so. Can't be me. Warning. Orbital position compromised. Correct course immediately. Are we losing our position in orbit? That does seem very important to fix quickly. So let me go down this side path first. Engineering tram. Oh, I guess I don't need that. Can I? S Perfect. I was just about to ask if I could stomp to break that, but we did a little swing. Okay, I'll carry this with me and I'll use it to kind of help out with conserving ammunition. That's neat. Is that the planet? Are, is that where all the ore is? It did say we have groundbreaking breaking technology for spotting it. Lots of locked doors here. One was to the central fuge. One is to the refueling control center. A preparation room. We are finding a lot of ammunition, at least. Felt like way more. It's actually not that much. How do I get inside of anywhere? Oh, I have to use the main console. <laughs> hey, bud. in the control room. Any news on the engines? Yeah, but it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need to stabilize our orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. Bro, I hope Isaac is like... I'm sure there's a lot of inflation in the year 2446. I hope this guy is literally a billionaire. If this guy can fix an entire space station with his own know-how, he should be the most valuable employee that this this entire operation has. Just saying. Just putting that out there. 